Well, good afternoon, campers. It's the 1st of February. It's 12.18 in the afternoon. Um, I'm in the van. Uh, I woke up this morning half past four for wee-wees and the heating was off. The red light was on. So I put some clothes on, got outside, switched the secondary gas bottle on. <clears throat> Got back in, had about five or six goes, and um, couldn't get the gas to work. So I messaged, well, I left it till a bit later than that, till they'd gone six. So I messaged Chris, who's a gas wizard, and he's all trained with Truma and all the rest of the stuff. And um, by the time I sort of, oh yeah, then I come back in here, and I sort of kept warm as I could. And then um, thought to myself, well, I'm not sitting here in a bloody cold and under the blanket, and, you know, just horrible it was. So I went in, made her a cup of tea, took it up to her, um, which was quite a, quite a shock, really, because I didn't hear her coming down the stairs. She was coming down to make a cup of tea. And as she opened the living room door from the hallway, I switched the light off. <laughs> fucking freaked her right out, didn't it? You know, that's, I think that's the only time she's ever been fucking pleased to see me. Anyway, so I went um, what's it up, um, went back up, went back up, got in the bed with her because I'm warm. And then uh, got a message back from Chris about 10 o'clock. Video the fault codes and send them to him. Um, he's just started back at work. He broke his arm, and he just got he's just got a plaster. First day, his first day back at work. He's like, like a mechanic, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, works in where he works, but he works there on under this COVID thing. He's there on his own. Because I said to him, "Shall I bring it over?" And he said, "No." He said, "You won't be allowed in." So I thought, "That's right." Because you can, I presume you can go for repairs, can't you? Anyway, it don't, don't really matter to me because I've been living in my van. You know, I don't think um, they look a lot like to look at what's it. But, but I mean, I've never really sort of stopped driving about people. You know, I've had uh, certain people or certain person on here who keeps going, keeps fucking coming back on here, keep blocking them, and then they must start another account and then come back on with the same name. You know, and then just puts a load of bollocks on there and fucking what have you. What was it? Oh, yeah, the same as it was last March. Um, I'd go to Scotland and empty me toilet in the hedge. Well, if I empty me toilet in the hedge, I'd fucking tell you. You know, what are you going to do? Not like me. You know, I mean, I don't use any of the chemicals. I use a biodegradable soap. So apart from it not being very nice, it wouldn't do any harm. And the thing is, is if I was going to empty my toilet, I'd dig a fucking hole and do it. Because I was a Boy Scout. But that's by the by. Yeah, and last March it was, um, you are roaming around Scotland. Um, blah, 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 all this old bollocks. And then, and then what was it? Um, you're roaming around Scotland, but we know you're not really. You're at, you're at home on the drive. Well, we ain't got a fucking drive, so... Oh, yeah. And, um, and then things like... Am I starting to get at you? I mean, why would you want to get at a total stranger? Unless you're a fucking moron. You know, a retard of some description. But... <laughs> Just makes me laugh. I mean, anybody that won't sort of say anything to your face, I mean, I don't really take on those... Like, any of us, by the boy. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll say it's nice and toasty warm in here now. Oh, God, what was, what was on about? Oh, yeah, and of course, I'm fucking, I spoke to Chris this morning, and he's had his arm in plaster for seven weeks. Well, I got this thing about, I don't like being held. I don't like being, you know, I don't want to be cuddled, and you know what I mean, but I mean, I don't like being restrained, I don't like being held, and, I'm, and I get claustrophobic, I don't like really small spaces. Um, 
and he got his arm trapped between the roll cage on the forklift and the doorway. How he'd done it, where he was driving off it, where it rolled away or what I'd done, I don't know. I didn't go into that. If it broke his arm, cleaned him out, made me feel fucking... Oh, made me, made, excuse me, made me feel bad. Um... Yeah, I keep trying to... So I look at you like that, so you look... I'm looking all the way. I need to look at the camera, don't I, like that? But I look at the camera like that, and I keep catching my eye on television, and I keep looking up at the television. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're indoors. She's been doing all my shopping for me. And, um... That's all done, so I'm ready to... I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh... Oh, yeah, I was saying about my heater. So... I came back in... Switched it on, it's working fine. So whether I had a funny five minutes, well, the gas might not be getting through, because what it was doing, it was it was starting up, it was firing, it was running. Run for two minutes, switched itself off. But the last time we had that problem, I don't know if you know these Truma heaters, they've got the exhaust pipe, comes up and goes out through the side of the van, and they've got the air intake on the outside of the exhaust pipe, so you've got like a gap of sort of so much all the way around. And obviously it charges better because it warms uh, it warms the air up or it runs smoother because it warms the air up you know i always thought you'd get more power with, with cold air and that's by the boy and what it had done it had cracked off at the top it, it had um put a little cut, cut where the clamp was on the last time and it let was letting air in it was letting air in air out exhaust in or exhaust out. it was doing bloody no it must have been letting air air in because there was, no, there was no, nothing in in the van and um, it was messing the mixture up. And of course, it, once it susses the mixture, it's not right, it switches itself off. So, yeah, so um, what's happening this week? I don't know. Um, I was going to go. I can't remember where I was going to go to. Where was I going to go? Oh, it's Mike got to Wall Wallingford, Wallingford, K Killing not Wallingford, Killington. Just check up on me and my, my mate Jane because she's not um, she's out there on her own and uh, get a bit worried about people, don't you? And uh, of course, like anybody you can travel with, it's for to check up on anybody. But being living, like I say, oh yeah, people keep get concerned. But when you live in your van. You can go anywhere. I mean, all the... Apart from when I was parked on the planes, on the Salisbury training area, where the harm are, I mean, the only interaction I've had with the police is good. I mean, I mean, one spoke to me, sort of, sort of spoke to me. You know, wound his window down. You all right, mate? Yeah. You staying here long? I don't expect so. I'll be here a couple of days or so. That's fine. You know, just a welfare check stay safe and drove off and the other one came down by and blew his horn beep beep got my attention stuck his thumb up i stuck my thumb up and he went like you know you okay and uh, i stuck my thumb up in knowledge yeah and he stuck his thumb up and drove off so obviously the police know the law about what you do and i mean it's obvious because with me i park up well, usually on a Tuesday night, I park up in one place. On a Wednesday night, I park up in another place. A Thursday night, I park up in another place. And Friday night, I park up in another place. But the same places. And then Saturday, if I'm out, I usually stay at the Friday one. Um, and if I'm feeling a bit adventurous, but I haven't been lately because my mate, was working at a place where there was two guys had COVID. Um, which with with two guys had COVID in another building there is, and his missus got a float had a float test and she failed that, but but since she's been tested, she's fine. Um, he now no longer works at this place. 
um, has been furloughed for a couple of weeks, so he's all right. And if I go down and see him, I can park on the visitor part of the car park. And me and him just go for a walk. You know. Well, I haven't done that for a while. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's by that vibe. So I'm just rambling now. So I'll speak to you all later. And I remember, stay classy, me fighting. Love you all. Bye-bye.